Skyhoy and Riedel are partnering on multiple levels to deliver state-of-the-art broadcast technology. So, yes, this video is generally Riedel themed. And using Skyhoy's Blue Pill platform, we'll demonstrate how you can change routes on a Riedel Micron using SWPO8 via the Rack Control Uno. We will also enable a Riedel Smart Panel to perform the same routing driven by Skyhoy Rack Control Uno. We will also read Ember Plus parameters back from the Micron, and finally, we'll control those Ember Plus parameters directly on a customized configuration. So first, what we have lined up here is the Rack Control Uno, and the web UI of that one is what you see here. This is called React, so this is where we can map parameters, like routing parameters, onto the keys. And quite typically, we will pick a so-called default configuration. So for routing, there's typically configurations for each brand of router. The SWP08, which is generically available on many uh, routers, is the one that we have picked for this one. And uh, the, I, uh, the um, device that we're controlling using that ProBell um, protocol is listed over here on the side on this IP address is where the real router is. Now, below, we have the smart panel. We'll get back to that in a moment, but I just want to show you that on the, on the panel here, we have buttons that uh, basically route inputs up to input 12 in this case on the router. And if I uh, use the encoder over here, I can pick which output it is. So now I choose output number two. And if I go back to inputs, you see that input number two is routed to output number two, and I could change that to anything else. So how would we know that? And where is the Riedel Micron anyway? It's a server room device, right? So it is another place in our facility, but I do have a window into it, and that should be all we need for this demonstration today, namely MediaWorks. So basically, just to show you this software package here, we have a few things that uh, we uh, should um, just notify here at the beginning. First of it is that we have enabled ProBell, we have enabled Ember Plus for the Micron. So that's one thing you should keep in mind. And then we have the matrix here where you can see the routes. So now as I am routing to output number two, I'm just picking output number two here. I am routing input number one. And you see output number two in this column has input number one routed to it, okay? So I route input number two, three, four, five, six, etc. It's all happening as you can see from the panel over here. So that's routing basically on that panel. That was the first point I wanted to convey. Second point is that we can even do that with many other devices than Skahoy panels. We believe in flexibility. We believe that in your control context, you may have a intercom panel like the Riedel Smart Panel, and you want to map some keys using the control um, application that you can uh, buy a license for uh, for the smart panel and you may want to go into because this is where the intercon happens then if you go to the control panel application in the smart panel you can actually have any parameter you can control in Skyhorse universe mapped onto these buttons and knobs and just for the sake of this simplicity here I want to do the same routing as I'm doing on the rack control uno so if I select output number two you see that input number six is routed here and now if I flip this button, I now route input number one to output number two, I route input number two to output number two. And if you noticed, it is following along on this panel because everything is synchronized. And also in the web UI, it is of course following along. Everything is synchronized in our universe. And that's what makes for great integration. The level that only is the one that satisfies us is when we can actually have feedback and deliver a fully flexible uh, feedback-driven integration with devices such as uh, SWP08 or the ProBell protocol. So that was how can we do routing from the um, Riedel panel, uh, mapping the, the same functionality down. You also see something else. We have more keys on the Riedel smart panel. That means that we access both the outputs at the same time, we have the inputs over here. On the Rack um, Control Uno, we need to get into a different menu to select output number 12, which we could just have picked you know, here on the panel. And then we go back to inputs, and now we can start routing on output number 12. Okay, so this is not a limitation of this panel. This is a consequence of the configuration we have decided to use today for this demonstration. Ember Plus was another topic that we wanted to touch on. So it's already enabled for the device. And you'll see in a moment that there is a lot of non-routing parameters, which are the ones that makes a lot of sense to tap into. We have decided that 
some of those that we could show for the principle of it would be counters found inside of the micron. So let's first go back to Reactor, the web UI of the right control Uno. And inside of this one, we have um, the Ember Plus Explorer uh, located right here. It's already uh, connected. Maybe if I reload, no. That is the, the case is that we have already connected to the device. Um, sometimes you need to type in that IP address first. So this IP address in the Ember Plus Explorer, you'll see it right here that uh, we are connected to it. And we are basically seeing parameters coming out of the Micron um, right here. So you could uh, probably do the same, like uh, do routing through one of these other menus. But today we'll just be um, going into the counters. And if you study one of these counters, you can see inside of each of these, there's time, there's the direction of the counter, there's whether or not it's running or not. We have stop at zero, reset value, reset, etc. And I have already before this demonstration mapped some of these over. But basically what you do is that you would open these and add them to the model. Why? Because in Ember Plus, we don't know how many parameters any device will come up with. It could be thousands. And it is unlikely that you need all thousand parameters of that device. So we decided that you explore the tree of any device you connect to. And really, we don't need to know that device on beforehand. It, it's any Ember Plus supporting device. Then you pick the parameters you want, and they are now available inside of React to be mapped down onto a panel, as you'll see in a moment. So over here, we have for counter number one, we have the time, the direction, the running status, Etc. available. And going back into, um, we can go through the home screen, but if we go into configuration, basically what we see is a canvas. And on this canvas, we have both panels. The um, We have the rec control uno, and we could map it down onto these keys. Uh, so maybe we'll just try to do that. And what we uh, will normally do is to do it in a user section. The user section is an overlay. It, it puts itself on top of what we see here. And because we have only 12 inputs, I think we, can, we have a few keys here that we could basically hijack for the purpose of this demonstration. So clicking here, you'll see that we have basically two um, similarly named devices, but the one is the, uh, the, the um, uh, sorry, SWP08 device. And that is the one up here called routing, where we could route input to output. That's what has been mapped down this many times on the buttons for, for this, while this one is the Ember Plus device. And here we could show the time. So if I pick this one, you see the time of counter number one, okay? So on the button just next to it, we could map down the uh, running status. Okay, so it's currently stopped. Now on this button, you see the same in the UI here. You'll see that follows along. If I press this one, we now have a counter that's running, and you'll see the counter starts to increment. You see it in the display here. You see it in the display on the screen, the UI of the Rec Control Uno. And if we go back to the media net, you also see that the counter is running here. We um, and, and it's enabled as well. OK, so that was integration of an Ember Plus parameter for that one. Maybe you're wondering, could we map the same down onto the Riedel Smart Panel? Well, yes, we can. And maybe uh, just for the sake of it, let's start another counter. So just real quick, I want to just grab the time of another one. So we'll just add this one over to the model. And we'll see that we have added counter number two, time for counter number two. And then I will quickly want to add also the running status so that we have those two available over here. So we can edit um, a time and label. Uh, we'll just call it time two and uh, time for counter two. That's probably the label we'll see in the UI. And we uh, will do the same running two, well, maybe running two and counter two running. Okay, so definitely you'll have to develop a strategy for how you, oops, that was not right. I need to save this, okay? So basically applying this config so that the whole system updates and those two new parameters gets into my configuration abilities. So going into the configuration and um, clicking on our Riedel Smart Panel, we have the user section already. So wait, I need to go to user section, yes. And um, we'll just have to pick a key that will overlay this on. Um, so let's just pick this guy. Inside of this one, we now see time counter two. So let's just pick that. And we see it's it's shown. It's also showing in the panel here. Awesome. And then on the 
key next to it. So each key has, uh, level key has also associated um, display and I pick number two. And now as I pull down on this one, it will or push up. It starts running that counter. That is counter number two is now running. It is stopping here. And up here we have the separate counter running from inside the Riedel smart panel. So that was counter number one and counter two uh, running operated from each of these panels. And what we have seen done here is how Reactor, the engine sitting on the Skahoy product, is able to map stuff down onto the parameters down onto the Riedel smart panel, map stuff onto itself uh, as you want. And at the same time, it's also uh, the the product that actually connects to the real smart panel and enables it as something called a raw panel. And that's the final thing that I want to say in this video that is uh, under the hood, the, the thing you have not seen demonstrated yet is how is it that we can connect to this panel? So, okay, in the Skaho universe, we are all about panels. We make so many different hardware panels that all you need to think about is which form factor is best for you. And then you know that any of those panels can control the same things because software and hardware is separate and, and overlapping 100%. So on this one, we have installed a so-called package called XPanel Riedel Smart Panel. And that package is a software application that connects using NMOS to the Smart Panel through that control panel application that Riedel has developed. You type in the IP address of it, the NMOS node port, and then you add which server port you want for the raw panel uh, integration. Because basically what we do is we turn this one into having a raw panel API. Raw panel API is what we use in all our panels. And this is why it perfectly fits into Reactor, is even shown with the nice graphics and everything, and being instantly operable by um, allowing you to assign all those parameters. So that application is running in the background on the right control uh, Uno and enabling the Riedel Smart Panel to pop up inside of Reactor here in the home screen and being configured over here on the configuration screen. Any Skahoy controller with blue pill inside can control Riedel's Micron routers or Ember Plus devices as well as configure a Riedel Smart Panel through the Reactor. And with Reactor, you're not limited to just SWP08 or Ember Plus. You can integrate any of the 400 plus devices that you find on devicesskahoy.com. I suggest that you take a moment to go and explore this full range. There are so many things you can connect to. I hope you enjoyed this video. On this channel, we'll cover all kinds of integrations in the Skahoy universe, so just hit like and subscribe. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram X. You can subscribe to our newsletter and connect directly with our sales and support team for personalized support. All the links to that good stuff is in the description below.